Valerian has the dubious honour of being the only Roman emperor to be taken captive. At the beginning of 260, he was captured by the Persian king, Shapur I, and held in captivity for the rest of his life. The Christian writer Lactantius tells how Shapur used Valerian as a footstool whenever he wanted to mount a horse, and how, after he died, his skin was dyed and hung up in one of the temples. The truth of the story may be questionable, but shows what an abject humiliation it was. Valerian was probably born before 200 into an old Roman family. He was already an elderly man by the time he became emperor. The little we have suggests that he had a successful career. Already an ex-consul, by 238, Valerian helped negotiate Gordian I's recognition as emperor. Decius thought well of him, and by the reign of Gallus, he was in charge of the provinces of Noricum and Raetia. After the defeat of Aemilian in September 253, Valerian was welcomed with open arms by the Senate in Rome. He was a known quantity, and his son Gallienus was recognised as joint emperor. This aristocratic coziness is reflected in his coinage too. The reverses of his coins are those of the Severan Age with images of Victorian felicitas. As his son dealt with the Western Front, defending Cologne and Trier, Valerian's priority had to be the East. It is likely that around 255 was the last time that Dura Europus was inhabited and in Roman hands. Even though by 257 Valerian had relieved Antioch from Persian command, Dura was lost again. And only a few years later, in the spring of 260, Valerian himself was captured somewhere near Edessa and found himself a Persian prisoner. He died the following year.